and again, uh, yeah, he was the program director. This is a cool looking vintage transistor radio. When I got this radio, it didn't work. So, I made the troubleshooting tools for this radio, as well as these vintage transistor radios. These are the ultra simple troubleshooting tools. One is a signal tracer. And the other is a signal injector. These two tools are often used together when radio troubleshooting. It depends on the condition of the radio under test. This time, Let's see each tool, one by one, to understand them easily. Let's take a look at the signal tracer first. This is a schematic diagram of the signal tracer. It's a very simple audio amplifier, using LM386, with a detector probe. The signal tracer is just like a stethoscope for the radios. This is the radio I pulled out from its case. It turns on, but there is no sound. Let's start a basic troubleshooting with the signal tracer. Turn on the signal tracer and adjust the volume level. This is a test point in the RF stage. I can hear some noise through a built-in speaker on the signal tracer. This is the test point in the first IF stage. I can hear station slightly. This is a test point in the second IF stage. I can barely hear the radio station. There might be a problem here. How about the AF stage? I can slightly hear the radio station. Based on the result of the basic test, I checked some more points around the IF stage. And, I found, this decoupling capacitor was bad. Now, the radio is working. Now, Let's take a look at the signal injector. The signal injector is to inject a signal to the radio under test, then narrow down the area of the fault to one particular stage. This is a schematic diagram of the signal injector. It's a simple multivibrator circuit. I used the BC337. However, you can use any general purpose NPN transistors. The output is a square wave of about 1.1 kHz.
I assembled all the parts on the universal PCB and put it into the case of not working transistor radio. This radio doesn't work. So, let's troubleshoot this radio with the signal injector. First, I injected a signal to the AF stage. I can hear the sound from radio speaker. That means, the AF stage is working. How about the IF stage? I can hear the sound. The IF stage is also working. How about the RF stage? No sound. It seems to be a problem here. I found that the wiring between an antenna coil and the variable capacitor was disconnected, which I couldn't find by the visual inspection. Now, the radio is working. The signal injector and signal tracer are very useful tools for the radio troubleshooting and repair.